So there's this cool thing that I recently learned, that bikes can ride themselves. So today I'm going to show you how exactly they can do that. So one common misconception about how bikes can operate is due to the gyroscopic effect of the wheels. While it is there, it's not enough to keep it upright. The gyroscope effect uh, allows for steering of the bike. So the first mechanism of how a bike can stay upright is the backwards tilt of the steering axis here. So you'll notice the contact point of the wheel on the ground is actually in front of the uh, steering axis there, which means if you tilt the bike here, the front wheel turns. So as the bike has forward momentum going down the hill, if it starts to lean one way, the, the wheel turns into the lean, just turning the bike rather than it falling over. If you were to lock the steering in place and try to push the bike down the hill, it would fall over immediately. Similarly, the weight of the handlebars and the wheel of the bike are in front of the axis there. So again, if the bike were rolling down a hill and it were to lean one side, the uh, wheel would turn straight back underneath it, keeping it upright. As you can see from my quality, quality demonstration. <laughs> <laughs> and lastly, as I mentioned before, the gyroscopic effect. Although it doesn't allow for the bike to be stable, it helps with steering. Because if you tried to tilt a spinning object, it would act as if it was pushed 90 degrees from where you did. So there we have it. That is basically the three mechanisms of how a bike can stay upright. But uh, yeah, that is another one of my videos done. Uh, if you do think I've earned it, then please consider subscribing. But until then, I'll see you next time.